guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got six easy Easter gnomes for you all in one video for your inspiration. If you want to know how to make them all, stick around. i show you how. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute little picnic gnomes. They got little tails, little ears, and little chickens. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, for this gnome, you're going to need a pattern, and it's in the description below. Just download it. You're going to need some faux fur, some pipe cleaner, some sticks. You're going to need some cork, a styrofoam cone. You need some fabric for the picnic table, the ear insert, the body of the gnome, and then for the regular ear itself. And um, I put the description of what I got on those. Some shoes, some weighted beads, a hat. Um, some decorations for the hat, a little chicken, a couple of beads for his hand, a bead for his nose, a cotton tail, some string, some batting. All right, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our foam two inches up. We're just going to cut it off with a knife. And we're going to use this for the body. We're going to take our tape measure and we're going to measure one and a half inches apart and make a little dot. So we know one and a half inches. Then we're going to take our tape measure and we're going to measure down three eighths inches from the bottom and we're going to put a dot just below that and that's where we're going to stick the sticks in for his legs. Okay, now we're going to take the sticks and we're going to stick them in the bottom holes and just push them all the way in. And then we're going to have to take them out and figure out where our cork is so that we get it all the way to the cork flush with the styrofoam cone. And just go ahead and drill holes into your um, cork so you can put the stick through it. And then we're going to stick them back in just to make sure that they're flush with the body. And they're in there good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cover our legs. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and seam up one side so we have a nice seam down the back of his leg. We're just going to fold it over and I and make sure when you cut it, if you want the stripe to be like that down his leg, make sure you cut it right. Otherwise, the stripe will be around his leg. I had to go back and recut my fabric. So we're going to just um, take the glue gun and we're going to glue the um, cork to the leg and we're going to roll it up to the part that we just seamed up. So we have the leg seam in the back of his leg. And then we're going to do that for both of those. Just glue it in there and roll it up. A lot of glue, just a little bit of glue, just to get it rolled up, and then um, add a little bit more glue towards the end of it. Okay, after we do that, we're going to go ahead and cut some slits at the top. And I cut it, actually, you're going to probably trim it off a little bit because you need to get close to the edge as you can. I made this a little bit long, and you'll see that I'm going to have to cut it a little bit shorter because we want those, um, we want those to turn into the cork and be flush with the cork so that when you put it in the body, you don't see it. So I probably had to go back in there and trim about a half inch off. And then I just took some glue and I'm going to just glue it in straight in till it's flush. Just put a little glue around the edge and then push it all the way in till it's flush. You want to make sure it's flush so that when you stick it into the leg of the styrofoam, you can't see any um, excess fabric. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. We're just going to add a little glue in the middle and fold it all in so it's flush. All right, and while that dries, we're going to go ahead and build the body. And we're going to take the body um, on the 14 inch side and we're going to fold it over and we're going to hem it up. We're going to do two layers of fabric on this because we're going to add some beads and we don't want them to be seen. We don't want any um, rough areas where you can see the beads through the fabric. So we're going to go ahead and do two layers of fabric. We're just going to fold that over and we're going to glue that seam down the side shut. Then we're going to take our styrofoam and we're going to measure in the middle and place the part where you poke the holes face down because we want the seam of the body to be in the back. So just put glue all along the edge of there and we're going to roll it over and make sure the side that you made the seam is the top side so we have a nice clean edge. 
and then we're going to go ahead and dry and we're going to go ahead and glue the rest of the side down just put your hand in there and put some glue in there and then we can turn it over and we can press it shut okay and then we're going to go ahead and add our weighted beads I added about um, maybe a third of a cup in there not a lot just a little bit to give it a little bit of weight and then we're going to go ahead and add stuffing to stuff it on up and I'll show you about how long I made mine you don't want it too tall just kind of average about like that and we're going to tie it up with a string actually we're going to start with a rubber band that made it easier and then we're going to tie it up with our string Just tie it both sides, good knot. We don't want those beads coming out and then trim that off. All right, then the holes that we poked with the styrofoam, into the styrofoam, you're just going to cut a hole into those, and that's where we're going to put our legs in. You can feel them from the front. Just cut through both layers and push both feet in. And turn your seam to the back so that you have your seam for your the back of the leg in the back. We're going to take his shoes and go ahead and try them on. Make sure that he's level before we glue his sticks in. Just in case we have to do some kind of bending adjustment at this time, you can. You might have to, you know, push it up or down in that styrofoam, but it'll move. And get his shoe all, get his leg all the way to the bottom of the shoe. And we're just going to tie them up. I didn't glue mine in at this point because if I do want to change a shoe or, or rearrange a shoe later, I can. But if you want to glue it in, go ahead and glue it in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add glue to the, the body and the sticks. Just put glue all the way around the edge there. And then push that right into the body. Make sure you got your lefts and rights on the right side. Double check your shoes before you glue it in. Then we're going to hold it until it dries. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Just put glue right inside there. Glue all the way around the top. And then push that right into there. And make sure it's straight up or however you want his shoes. You can change his shoes later. Like I said, I didn't glue mine in. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do his arms. We're going to take the fabric and we're going to put a seam down one side. And fold that over. Then we're going to put a seam down at the bottom. So that where his hands are, it's a finished off edge. And we're going to do that to both of them. And I forgot to tell you, you're going to need pipe cleaner for these. I only had two pipe cleaners shown. And um, we need pipe cleaner for his his arms as well. Because we're going to use them for his ears and his arms. Just fold those over. And this is where we're going to glue the, the bottom of his arm up. That way you have a real nice edge where his hand is. Then we're going to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to put it probably about um, a fourth of an inch down so we still have room for the hand and we're just going to roll it up. We're not going to roll it up real tight. Just kind of roll it up and then we're going to put the hand in there, see how it goes and we're going to glue it shut. Just making sure that the hand will fit in there before you glue the side shut. And then we're gluing the hand in. Just put the little bead right in there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're just going to glue our pipe cleaner in there. Leave a little room for the hand. And roll it up. Just kind of look at them. Make sure that you got them about equal before you glue that little bead in. And glue the side down. Okay, and then after those dry, we're going to go ahead and attach them to the body. We're going to make like a 90 and a 90 bend so we can come up over the top of his body and down the side so his hands are flush with his body. We're going to do that to both sides. And then we're going to take a rubber band, wrap it around the top after you make sure they're even. And then we're going to tie it off with a string. These rubber bands are real handy to get them in place so that you can tie off with a string.
Okay, they're pretty straight. Now we're going to go ahead and tie it off with a string. Tie it off tight so his hands won't get pulled out of there and then clip it off. All right, and then we're going to attach the top part of his arm to his body on both sides. And then we're going to trim off the excess off the top. Probably say you have about maybe a half inch at the top sticking out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fix his hat and his ears. You're going to use um, two big ears, and I use those out of the plush felt. And then we're going to use some inserts and some pipe cleaners. We're just going to glue right around the edges of those ears, leave room in the middle so we can add a pipe cleaner, and push it down all the way around, and then just kind of make sure it's flush so you don't see any seams opened. That's what's good about this plush felt. It really is forgiving. Then just kind of pick the excess fur off of it. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Just make sure it's flush. Same thing with the inserts. We're going to go ahead and glue the inserts on. I just kind of halfway glue them on at first. And then I make sure I go all the way around them close to the edge. Because when you bend them, if you don't have it all the way um, to the edge, you'll be able to see a gap there. So I just take them and just kind of glue all the way around them real close to the edge without getting glue out of them. And gluing them down real well. Okay, then we're going to take our pipe cleaner, fold it in half. We're going to stick it up inside the ear. on both of those. Okay, and then we're going to clip the ends off, leave about a half an inch on both of them. And then we're going to take our hat and we're going to take an X-Acto knife and we're going to cut slits in it the same size as the ear itself and we're going to come up through the bottom to attach those. Just hold it tight because you don't want that insert to pull through and um, pull off. We're going to come probably just up to the very tip of where the ear is on both of those. Pull it on up through there and then we're going to go ahead and just glue them down. Get your ears how you want them. Make sure that they're straight. And then we're just going to glue both sides of that down so those ears won't come out. And you can use this pattern for a lot of things. It doesn't have to be a rabbit. You can make a farmer out of it if it's after Easter. Okay, now we're going to put that aside and we're going to go ahead and build his beard. We're just going to take the pattern. We're going to cut only the back side of the fabric only and not through the beard itself. And we're going to trim all the way around that beard. Then we're going to pull off the excess fur off of it. Get it all cleaned up. And then we're going to attach it to our nail. We're going to attach it right at the top. And we're going to stick it up under his arms. Make sure when you glue it in, you pull his arms up and stick it under. His arms were glued down, but you can get the bottom part of his arm lifted up. And just stick it up underneath there on both sides. All right, we're going to go ahead and attach his um, beard to his body. Just put a little bit of glue there and then just press it down and hold it down. All right, we're going to figure out where we want his nose and then we're going to glue his nose on. Test fit his hat before you glue his nose on just in case your pattern is not exactly the same or your hat's not exactly the same. Then we're going to go ahead and decorate our hat. You can use whatever kind of decorations you want. I got these at the Hobby Lobby in a pack. But you can put anything you want to on there. Then we're going to attach um, his bunny tail to the back. Just put a dollop of glue back there and attach his bunny tail. And then we're going to put his hat on him. We're going to glue the back part of the hat to his body. Push it down, hold it till it dries real good. And then we're going to attach a little bit to the top of his nose. And then we're going to actually go back in and attach a little bit of it to his arms on both sides. 
just so it stays down. And then just pull his beard up a little bit towards the top part of the hat and it'll cover up any of the opening that you got there. All right, then we're going to take a little chicken and put it underneath his little arm. It's his little pet chicken. I didn't glue mine in. I just stuck it up underneath there. So if I decide to do something later, I can. And he looking cute? All right, then we're going to put him aside and we're going to make our um, picnic blanket. We're just going to glue all the way around all four sides. Just to kind of clean up the edges, make it look like a real blanket. And then when we get done, we're just going to set him on top of it and put a little basket of um, carrots. So today I'm going to show you how to make these super easy little Easter gnomes. They're made with one pair of socks and one of those jumbo Easter eggs. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, for this gnome, what you're going to need is a pair of socks. You're going to need a Easter egg. These are a jumbo egg. I got these at Michael's. They measure 2.7 by 3.89 inches, and they come in a four-pack. You're going to need a pair of um, shoes. You're going to need a little um, cotton ball for his tail, a bead for his nose. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree. We're going to make a bench out of these. They're crates. You're going to need some um, pipe cleaner, some faux fur, something to decorate your little bench with, and some ribbon scissors, and a glue gun. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by cutting out our um, faux fur to our make our beard with, and I initially put that you measured, cut it at four by four in the video. That was way too large, so I need to be cut at three and a half by three and a half, and we're just going to freehand cut this, cutting through the backing only in a U shape from side to side, and then clean our excess hair off. Now we're going to take our socks, and then our socks I also put that we're going to cut the top off at two inches. My mistake, it should be at three inches. So we're going to cut it actually at three inches off the top. Then we're going to take our sock with the heel in the back and we're going to place it over our egg with the biggest part of the egg on the bottom. And just stick that right in there and then pull it on through. Then we're going to open up our sock and we're going to glue just around the edge of the top of the egg. And this is just going to keep our sock from. Um, slouching down and moving around on our eggs so much when we get our ears put in. So we're just going to kind of squeeze that down a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and cut our um, ears. We're just going to cut right down the middle so we have equal amount on each side. And then we're going to turn it over and on the part, the side that had the heel, because we don't need that heel, we're going to just cut that heel right off of there. And then both of our sides should be equal. Then we're going to hem up one side of each let of each ear. Just add a, a bead of um, glue down one side and just flip it over, and that'll give us a nice seam for this side. And then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side as well, so that our ears match. So you ha should look like that. Then we're going to go ahead and take our ears and we're going to fold them over and then fold the, other, the seamed part over the top of that and we're going to pin it down all the way down. And put your pin just a little bit below where the seam is because we're going to come back in and put our hot glue across there. Now let you know ahead of time, don't glue all the way inside of your ear because we are going to put a pipe cleaner in there in a little bit. So that we can bend our ears. When you get to the end, just turn it in. And we're going to kind of pinch it up a little bit so that we have a tip on the tip of our rabbit ear. And just pin that. And then we're going to pin the other side as well. And then we're going to just hot glue it down its seam. So you have an ear that looks like that. We just kind of are shaping these into rabbit ears. And we're going to pin this side as well, doing the same thing so that we can go ahead and glue them down. And then we'll pinch up the end. When we put the glue at the end of the tips, we'll just pinch them up. Just make sure that your ears look the same. You'll have a hole in the center, but we're going to fix that. We're just going to take our glue gun and we're just going to run a bead right down the ear to hold that together. Kind of squeeze it shut. Pull your pins out as you go. And then when you get to the very tip of the ear, we're going to put our glue in there and we're going to kind of pinch it up a little bit 
so that it has like a little tip on it. Just kind of squeeze that together a little bit. And then there's your ear. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're just going to glue straight down the edge. And we're going to pinch it in the end and pinch it up a little bit so that we have a tip on this ear too. And the reason we left the hole in the opening is because at this point we're going to take our pipe cleaners, we're going to fold them in half, and we're going to stick them up into the ears. Here's what I did on mine. I didn't. I thought my ears were a little bit long. And so if you want your ears to be a little bit shorter on your rabbit, be sure before you start um, pinning it up to glue it and everything like that, if you want them a little bit shorter, go ahead and cut them off at that point. I thought mine were probably at least about an inch and a half too long, and I wish I had cut them down. I did it in my second gnome. And you're going to go ahead and trim off your pipe cleaners inside so that they're flush with the top of the egg on both sides. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue and glue it to the bottom of the ear so that it stays in place. So it doesn't slide down into the egg. And we're going to do that on both sides. And then we're going to cover up our hole that we have in the center. We're going to pull the back forward, glue underneath that, and then we're going to put the top of the other other side of the hole over that over that and glue it down. Okay, then we're gonna take a little bit of ribbon and we're gonna just tie our two ears together, not so tightly, but just to put a nice bow separation from the top of the egg. And then trim off the excess ribbon. And you can bend your ears and you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and build the body. This is actually going to look like a hat. We're going to take the other sock with the heel in the back. We're going to put it all the way over that egg. Go all the way up to the top. And then we're going to fold it back down towards the bottom again. And we're going to glue, we're going to glue that up to the top. Just below the ribbon. All the way around. Then we're going to take our cuff, cuff it all the way back to the top again. You can get your heel put in there. It's going to be about like that. And then we're going to glue that section to the top as well. And then we're going to cuff up the hat and make a nice little cuff on the top of it. And go all the way around. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the back of the hat. And then we're going to do our beard. So you're just going to lift the top of that hat back up. And we're going to glue our beard down underneath it. And just let that dry real good. Then we're going to pull our hat back down. And we're going to glue the sides. Don't glue the very front because we've got to put the nose in. And now we're going to add our nose. Just lift that hat brim back. Put that bead on there and then let it dry. And then we're going to glue the top part of the hat down over the top of the nose. Okay, and then while that dries really good, we're going to start building our legs. So you're going to need two pipe cleaners, your two tennis shoes, and then the fabric that we cut off the top. We're going to open up our shoes, get them all ready, and then we're going to take our piece of fabric and we are going to cut it in half. So we'll have half for each leg. And after we get those cut in half, we're going to hem up one side of each leg so we have a nice seam down the back of the shoe. It's going to take a bead of glue and glue down one side and then bend it over. To make our to make our um, finished out seams, and we're going to do the same thing to both sides.
and then we're going to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to split our pipe cleaner in half. Now don't cut anything off of it because we're going to have to do some measuring before we cut it. So just bend them in half and put the um, rolled half at the bottom and we're just going to glue that into the leg. I'm just going to add a bead of glue across the bottom. We're going to hem this bottom part up as well and this will give it a little bit more meat inside the shoe to stay to stay in there. Kind of fatten it up a little bit. I'm going to take our pipe cleaner, just glue down one side. And we're going to roll it up in there to the finished out seam. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. But we're going to leave our pipe cleaner long because we're going to actually put this underneath our beard like we've done if you watch the pajama one, that's how we did that one. And just roll that right up in there. And then that seam will be in the back. You won't see it in front of the front. We're going to just have to lift up our beard. And we're going to see, we need to get the top edge of our shoe, of our leg, underneath that um, beard so it glues down. So you're just going to have to trim it off until you get it to that point. Because we want to get that top of that leg glued inside of that beard. And that beard will lay down on top of it and we'll glue that down here in a minute. So you're going to put, you know, quite a bit of glue to hold all that in. And then just attach that. And kind of equally space them so that we have a little bit of a space between their legs. And then we're going to glue our beard on down to our um, body. And that's what's going to hold our legs in. And while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and build our park bench. And I just took two of these crates from Dollar Tree and I stained them with a walnut colored stain. Actually, it was a dark walnut. And we're just going to trim the back bottom ledge to the back of that. And that's going to create our park bench. And just turn it around to the front and make sure it's even. And then we're going to set that aside and we're going to go ahead and attach our shoes. And we're just going to make sure that we have a right on a right and a left on the left. Because you don't want his feet sticking out opposite. And we're going to add a bunch of glue into the bottom of that. And we're going to add his foot in there and then we are just going to tie his shoes. Just make sure his feet are facing forward. And tie his little shoes for him. You're going to do the same thing with the other side. Just put a big dollop of glue, a big dollop of glue, and glue that shoe in. And we're going to tie that one off as well. All right, so he's ready to sit on his park bench now. Now he's got a little basket of carrots to put next to him. You can use eggs or whatever you want to. And you got a cute little gnome sitting on a park bench. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little carrot patch gnomes sitting in grass on a pedestal. Little feet, little teeth. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. Hey guys, what you're going to need for this gnome, you're going to need a pattern to cut out the ears and the feet. I mean, cut out of whatever you want to. If you do, if you have a um, cutting machine, like a Cricut or something like that, I've included the SVG file, so you could use it to cut out ears and um, feet out of the foam. And um, that's in the description below. If you have a Dollar Tree and you just want to cut the bunny's ears off and use those, you can do that too. That's quick and easy. But you're going to need um, some foam for the feet. You're going to need a pink and then a white. You're going to need a couple of um, pipe cleaners, some socks, some fabric for the ears. I'm using a plush felt I got at Joann's. And then some checkered fabric. You're going to need some faux fur for the beard. You need some ribbon. You're going to need some pom-poms, one big one for his tail and one little one for his hat. You're going to need a cork, a, a nose. You're going to need some string and one of the big eggs that you get at, um, at Michael's, a um, pedestal. I got it at the Dollar Tree. And then I got the um, preserved Spanish moss 
or the pedestal because it's um, it feels a lot like grass and it's not so messy. All right, let's get started. Okay, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the toes of both of these feet up by the heel. One's going to be for the body and one's going to be for the hat. We're going to put our egg with the big side down towards the bottom and we're going to twist it and we're going to tie it off with a string. And this keeps it from moving around when we actually get the glued hat on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut the top part of this off, but leave a little bit at the top because we're going to pull it down and glue it down all the way around so that we don't have a big knot at the top of our hat. Just get it glued down really good all the way around and hold it till it dries. And now we're going to go ahead and take our other sock and go over the top of it and we are going to make a cuff. A little cuff and then a bigger cuff and the cuff is what our ears are going to set in when we make our bunny ears. Just go about halfway up to the middle of the egg. All right, now we're going to take our fur and we're going to put our pattern on it. And we're just going to cut around. This is going to be the beard part. And then we're going to cut the same thing, but with the for the mustache part. We're going to have a two parts of this beard. And then on the mustache part, it's about an inch. And it's the full length of the beard. And we're just going to cut that out. And then we're going to comb them out and get all the excess hair off of them. And then we're going to take the beard and we're going to fold it in half, get the center of it. I mean the mustache, get the center of it. And then we're going to comb it out separated. So we have a place in the middle to put the nose and get all that excess hair off. All right, now we're going to go ahead and assemble them. We're going to go ahead and put some glue on the back part of the hat so it stays in place while we're putting in the beard and then inside the cuff as well. And we're going to lift the flap of the front back and we're going to glue the beard down. Go right up to the edge of where you folded it back. And then you can pull it back down a little bit and then we're going to lift the jump just a little bit to put the mustache down. We're going to glue it right on top of the beard. Right in the center. I'm going to fan him out a little bit just to get his whiskers like a rabbit's whiskers. All right, then we're going to fold the hat back and we're just going to put a little bit of glue right along the very tip top of the where the mustache was and we're going to pull the hat on down and glue it down. Then we're going to pull it back and we're going to add our nose and I got a little bit carried away with the glue on this one you can see. But I recovered it. I'm going to put it right there. Put a little glue on the top part of the hat and we're going to glue it down over the top of the nose. And we're going to go ahead and glue the hat all the way around to the body on both sides. All right, while that dries, we're going to go ahead and uh, make our teeth. And I cut off about an inch of the foam. And it's about um, half an inch wide. And I'm just going to cut it right down the center. And then we're going to put them together and we're going to cut them just at an angle so that his teeth kind of angle in. Not a lot, just a little bit. You know, probably maybe a fourth of an inch at the most. I'd say maybe an eighth of an inch, actually. All right, then we're going to cut off a piece, and we're going to glue that to those so we can stick it up underneath his beard, I mean, his, his mustache, and you won't see it. Now, you are going to probably have to do some trimming here. If it, that piece that on top sticks out underneath his mustache and you can see it, you're going to have to keep trimming it until you, it doesn't. And you probably want to trim his teeth a little bit after you get them in there and to see how long you want them. Mine were a little bit long and I went back out and trimmed them off a little bit on both sides. You just want everything hidden underneath that mustache right there. All right once I got it figured out where I wanted it I pulled the part the teeth apart a little bit and then I went ahead and just glued them on in. You're actually just gluing the teeth to the top of the mustache. All right, then we're going to go ahead and put the um, little beat, little pom-pom on his hat, the littler pom-pom, because we're going to put the bigger pom-pom on the back of him for his tail. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut out his pattern for his ears. You can cut four pieces of the big ear, and you're going to cut two pieces for the inserts for the ears. I used a um, 
a furry uh, furry felt but you can use pretty much anything you want to this holds up really really well so that's why I chose it just get them cut out I do two at a time because that's going to be my matching pair and then we're going to cut two of the inserts and you can do any kind of fabric that you want on these I just chose to do a gingham All right, once you get all that done, we're going to glue right around the edges of two of the ears and put them together. And we're going to make it where it has an opening in the middle so we can put our pipe cleaner in. So don't glue them all the way down, just around the edges. And just get them out in there where they don't have any gaps on them all the way around. And this um, furry um, felt really, it, it covers up the edges pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and put down our um, some glue onto our insert, but we're going to go back in and we're going to glue all the way around again as close to the edge as we can because once we start, once we put this pipe cleaner in here, once you bend it, if you haven't got it glued down really good, you'll see a gap. It'll fold. Trust me, I did it on my first one. So you need to really get it glued down really, really well all the way to the edge without the glue you know coming out just a little just a little fine bead that's all you're going to need all right now we're going to take two pipe cleaners we're going to fold them in half and put them on down inside the ears and then we're going to cut them off and then we're going to spread them open and then um, glue them down All right, now we're going to go ahead and attach them to our hat. We're just going to lift the cuff back. I'm going to trim this one out a little bit. Cut, pull the cuff back. Stick them in there. Space them on each side of where the nose is. However you want to. You can space them out farther if you want to. Just play with them. You'll figure out how you want them. We're going to glue them in on the back. And then we're going to glue them in on the front of the, on the, front of the cuff as well. Just want to make sure they're in there really, really good. And then go ahead and shape them however you want to. I just folded mine over. All right, and then add your little bunny tail. Okay, we're going to go ahead and assemble the feet. We're going to go ahead and take the cork. I measured about three eighths of an inch is what I cut that cork. I use the synthetic cork because it cuts easier and it holds up better. Because you can cut it with just a little knife. All right, then we're going to take the leftover fabric and we're just going to cut a piece off to cover these up. Probably about a two by three piece. We're going to put our cork right in the middle, glue it in, and then we're going to take a rubber band and secure it around the top. Just twist it. And then we're going to trim off the excess as close as we can without cutting our rubber band. We're going to pull it back and then we're just going to glue underneath the excess all the way around. So if our rubber band ever broke, it's, it'd be secured. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. And then on the feet, um, I attach the SVG file if you want to cut it out with a Cricut or a, a Silhouette, whatever kind of cutting machine you have. If you don't have a cutting machine, you can cut them by hand. The little toes on the feet if you don't have if you don't have a cutting machine, use a hole punch and just punch out holes. Um, I used a hole punch that looked like hearts on one of mine that I did. So you can just do it however you want. It is a little bit hard to cut the littler pieces if you don't have a cutting machine. And we're just going to go ahead and assemble them by putting the, the bottom of the foot on there and then the little toes. We're going to do that to both of them. Okay, we're going to attach these to the flat side of the feet. We're just going to kind of center them in the middle like that. 
and we're going to do that to both sides and we're going to set them aside and let them dry while we build our pedestal. Got a pedestal at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the preserved Spanish moss. It feels a lot like grass. It was easy to work with and it wasn't a major mess. We're just going to put it onto the pedestal and glue it down and we're going to leave a hole in the middle so that we can put our um, rabbit body down in there. And we need we want it the hole in the middle so opened up so we can make sure that the rabbit body gets um, glued to the pedestal itself, not just the grass, because he will eventually tip over if he's not glued to the to the um, pedestal. And I used quite a bit of glue. Oh yeah, go ahead and glue the beard down flat. And then put a lot of glue. And we're just going to hold him on there until he dries. He'll set up there no problem. It worked out real well. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his feet. We're going to put them on each side of his um, beard. And we're going to turn them at a, at a diagonal so they look like they're just kind of sticking out. Kind of like that. And the same thing on the other side, we're going to put it angled out the opposite way. Just on the outside of the beard. Like that. I'm going to let that dry real good. And then we are going to attach a ribbon around the bottom of the pedestal. And I did a ribbon that matched his insert on his ears because I just thought it looked good like that. I'm just going to tie it in a bow. And then we're going to clip our um, sides off at a diagonal. And then we're going to glue the back of the bow onto the pedestal so it won't spin around. All right, there you have it. A cute little bunny sitting in the grass. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little Easter Bunny gnome treat containers. They're made with a craft tube. All you got to do is fill it up with some candy, put the hat back on, give them to your friends at Easter. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay guys, for this project, you're going to need some craft foam. You're going to need some pipe cleaner. You're going to need some lightweight air dry clay, a tube. You're going to need some fabric. You're going to need a um, carrot, a couple pom-poms, a bead for the nose, some faux fur, and some cardstock. Okay, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take our tube and we are going to cover it with white paper because we don't want our fabric to show through. And we're going to use a glue pen to adhere it to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my paper and I'm going to break up the fibers on it so it will roll around that tube pretty easily. Then I'm going to take my glue pen and I'm just going to attach a bunch of glue to it. And I'm using a glue pen instead of a glue gun because I want to make sure it's smooth. And if you use a lot of glue gun, glue stick on it, it makes it a little bit bulky. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around my tube and roll it up. Now this glue pen works really well if you just give it a little bit of time to dry. Probably 30 seconds around and it'll dry bonds really well. And then we're going to go ahead and bond it to a two and a quarter inch circle so that we can fill up um, this cavity with candy and it doesn't come out. So we want to go ahead and put glue around the bottom of our tube, attach it to our circle, and we're going to set it aside while we build our feet. Now on these feet, I use this glue pen, but I'm just going to tell you right now, go ahead and use a glue gun because it did, I could not get it to dry on the, on the craft um, foam. I'm sure maybe overnight it might have dried, but um, I just I, I still could move it after probably um, 20 minutes. So go ahead and use a glue gun on this one. Okay, now that that's um, put aside, we're going to go ahead and take our tube and we're going to cut quarter inch slits all the way around. And then we are going to glue those down the sides just to make that completely sealed in. Go ahead and take your glue pen and glue all the way around the top edge there. And then just take your fingers and run it over the top and push all that down. Now hold that for about 30 seconds and that will bond real well. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take the ears and we are going to go ahead and glue them together. So you're going to cut out four ears, glue down one side, go ahead and attach your um, ear and then go ahead and glue down the other side. Take your time on this because you want to make sure that those do stay shut.
Okay, we're going to go ahead and set those aside, and we're going to go ahead and um, take our hat material. We are going to um, glue down the short side, fold it over, and we're going to put that aside to dry as well. Then we're going to go down the short side of the body, which is the white fabric, fold it over, and let that glue down as well and dry. We just want to make sure everything dries good before we start turning it right side out. Okay, we're going to take our pliers, go ahead and put them up in your ears, and turn your ears right side out. And then I'm going to take a bone folder and put it up into those ears and really shape those ears so that they do shape out like a good ear. Just take your time on this one because you do. This is the focal part of your um, gnome. You just want to make sure your ears do look really good. Okay, then we're going to take two pipe cleaner. We're going to fold them in half and stick them up into our ears. Do not cut them off yet. We're going to do that here in a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take our fabric for our body. We're going to turn it right side out. We're going to go ahead and put it over our tube. And we are going to glue it at the top and the bottom. Now, don't skip on this part because when they start taking the hat on and off of um, this gnome, you want to make sure that that fabric stays on there really well. And trim off any excess and then go ahead and turn it over and do the same thing for the other side. And then trim off the excess on that. Just make it flush with that tube. Okay, then we're going to take a one and three quarter inch circle and we're just going to attach it to the bottom. And that's going to be the same fabric that you used around the body. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and cut our um, fur. We're going to cut it at one and three quarter by one and three quarter. We are going to cut behind the faux fur into a U shape all the way around. Just cutting behind the faux fur only, and then we're going to clean any excess fur off with a comb. Okay, now we're going to take our tube. We're going to come down one inch from the top, and that's where we're going to put our beard. Just go ahead and glue it on there real well. And then we're going to take a ribbon and come back over the top part of the edge of the beard and glue it down and that way it'll hold it in place really good when they're taking that hat on and off. Okay, then we're going to come down a half of an inch and we're going to attach our little bead. And then we're going to go ahead and take our, make our teeth. These are two quarter inch by half inch um, pieces of craft foam. We're going to attach them together with another little piece of craft foam just to hold the two together. And then we're going to glue those right up underneath our nose. You don't have to put a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue, but just get it right up underneath that nose. Next, we're going to take our hat, and we are going to, um, while it's inside out, we are going to go ahead and measure one inch down from the top, and we're going to tie it off at the top with a string. Now, spend a little bit of time on this. You want to make sure that you kind of have it evenly gathered all the way around, that you don't have a flat spot in the front, and then gathered areas around the edge. Just kind of spend a little bit of time to get this um, gathered up good. Then go ahead and tie it off a few times. So you want to make sure it stays shut. Trim off any excess string and then we're going to cut the top edge off a half of an inch from the edge so that we don't have so much bulk underneath that hat. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn it right side out and then we're going to add about a half inch cuff all the way around. And then we're going to place it over our tube, pull it on down, get your cuff exactly like you want it. You want to make sure it's pretty even, so spend a little bit of time on this part. And then we're going to start um, putting our ears on. Okay, we're going to take our ears and we're going to go ahead and glue them shut. Just kind of squeeze them shut there, hold them till they dry, and do the same thing with the other one. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and cut our pipe cleaner off flush with the bottom of the ear. And then we're going to take our ear and we're going to come up half inch from the bottom, put a little bead of glue, and then we're going to squeeze them shut to kind of give them a little bit of a rabbit shape. 
and do the same thing with the second one. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach them. We're going to go ahead and take our pom-poms first, put our pom-pom on top, and then we're going to put a pom-pom on the back for a tail. Okay, then go ahead and stick your ears in there and, and space them out however you want them. I'm putting mine probably about a half an inch apart. And then we're going to go ahead and start gluing them in. So spend a little bit of time on this one because you want to make sure that when they're taking that hat on and off, those ears do stay in there well. So you want to glue them in the back part of the hat. And then you want to make sure that they're glued in into the front part of the hat really well. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other ear. Just go ahead and tuck it in there. Make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom of that cuff. And then glue the back and the front in. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and attach our feet. Go ahead and um, pull your beard back. Take your um, both of your feet. I'm going to put mine on exactly at the same, at same time because I want to make sure that they're even. Just hold them up there and place them kind of at a diagonal right in the front. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make his hands or his um, paws for his carrot. We're just going to roll up a little um, half inch ball for each hand. And then we're going to roll them into like a little bitty log, just a little one. We're going to go ahead and push them down with something that we um, can smash them down with. And then pull the back part just to kind of give it the rabbit foot shape. And then we're going to come into the front toe area and we're going to go ahead and put his little toes. Or his little paws. And then take your carrot and wrap it around the back part. Kind of shaping it. And don't push too hard because you don't want to um, dent your clay but go ahead and glue it on where the back part of the hand is on the on the back part of the carrot so that when we glue it down to the gnome you don't see it you just see the front part just kind of bend it around there put some glue and then this will this will dry overnight um, but you can go ahead and put them together now Okay, then we're going to go ahead and take our gnome, go ahead and glue the um, all the way around on the hat just to make sure that that cuff is already glued in. Do not glue it to the tube, just to the cuff. And then we're going to go ahead and fix the beard in the front and we are going to attach our carrot kind of at a diagonal across the front part of them. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute little Easter Bunny gnomes with little Easter Bunny slippers. Hey guys, for this project you're going to need a pattern and it's in the description below. Just hit the little arrow right below the subscription button and it'll open up where all the um, supplies are. I'm going to use a Dollar Tree um, bunny, but if you don't have one, I've, I've added some ear patterns in here for you. You're going to need some material that's like fuzzy for the shoes and then you're going to need some material for the pajamas. you got the legs and the arms. And then um, I'm just going to cut the ears off of this one. If you don't have it, you can just cut um, two of each of these ears and put some pipe cleaner in the middle of them if you don't have them to make your own out of foam. You need a sock, some pipe cleaner. You're going to need two ping pong balls, two little shoes from the Dollar Tree. And um, you're going to need some sticks. I got these are five inches and I got a styrofoam. Um, you're going to need some beads for the tail. Um, you're going to need something for the whiskers, and what I used on those is a part of a broom. You're going to need some cork, some fabric for the hat. It measures 10 by 13. I just put that into the description. You're going to need some faux fur. Um, you're going to need some material for the body. You're going to need some foam for the rabbit ears and foam for the soles. And then some string, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and build the shoes first. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some weighted beads to these shoes. I'm using weighted beads that are six to seven ounces per cup. They're a little bit heavier than the normal ones that I use. And then I'm just going to tape that off to keep it inside. Just, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to come back in here and we're going to cover these up. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other shoe. Just fill it up with beads and then we're going to just tape it off. 
And then we're going to go ahead and cut some soles. We're just going to put our shoes on here, trace around them, cut some soles, just to make sure that those beads do not come out of those shoes. And you're just going to cut one for both sides. And then we're going to take our ping pong ball and we're going to, there's a circle on your pattern and you're going to trace that onto the ping pong ball. And we're going to take an ice pick and poke around into the holes around the edges of it just to get started, maybe three of them. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut that opening section off of these ping pong balls because that's what our shoe is going to set inside to make the ball at the top. These go in real easy. Don't be scared of this. I mean, they poke in super, super easy. Then we just take our scissors and just cut that circle completely off. And we're going to do this to both ping pong balls. And you can get ping pong balls anywhere. I got these at um, Walmart for like $1.88 for a bag of them. Okay, once we got our opening for these, we're going to fill these with the weighted beads as well. We're, only going to, we're probably going to leave about. Um, say quarter to actually three eighths of an inch at the top and then we're going to take our tape and we're going to put it down inside of the ball and tape it around to the edge because we still need an opening to put that shoe into this ball and we're going to tape it on both sides just to make sure that those beads stay in there and this is all going to be covered up and we're going to tape our balls to our shoes so it's not going to come out we're going to go ahead and attach our heels I mean, our soles to our shoes on both of these. And your soles are going to come out a little bit farther around the edge of the shoe, but where our fabric's going to cover it up. We're going to take our ping pong ball, stick it into the shoe, and we're going to tape it on there. And this is what's going to give us that nice little round head for our little bunny slippers. And then we're going to do that for the other side as well. So it will go underneath the shoe a little bit, but it's so weighted it's not going it, to, it'll stay in balance. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build the front of our bunny, and I'm taking some really heavy duty thread. I got this at Hobby Lobby, and you want to do two, two layers of it, so this will really stay together good. We're just going to go and sew right around the edge. We're going to make like a little ball. Just go back and forth all the way around, just single stitch all the way around, and then we're going to end up tying it together here in a minute. Okay, so we're going to form our little ball, and that's what's going to go up around our shoe. And yeah, I waste a lot of thread. And just get that real tight. All the way around, make sure it's secured, and then we're going to tie that off. And we're going to snip our thread off, and then we're going to do the same thing for the other shoe. Go ahead and take some hot glue, and go ahead and go all the way around the edges, just to secure that to the shoe. And you want to find some material that's more fuzzy than not because when we put the ears on there, they're going to help hold up those ears, the, the fur of them. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and um, do the edges around our shoes, and we're just going to glue down one side, fold that over. We're going to do that to both of them. And then when we open that up to put it around our shoe, we're going to make sure that the seam is centered in the back so you're not going to see any kind of seams when you put it actually on your shoe. And you are going to have to trim these down a little bit. While those are drying, we're going to go ahead and make our little ears for our shoes. We're just going to take some um, foam. I'm going to cut both ears at the same time for each side. And just go take your scissors and just trim around there and cut that pattern out. And we're going to do that for both of them. They need two ears per, per shoe, obviously. Then we're going to go ahead and cut the insert for the shoe. Same thing. Double it up and trim those out. And then I had forgot to tell you in the beginning, too, that you're going to need a couple of eyes for each shoe. And you can get those at Hobby Lobby or any craft store. 
And I'm going to take this um, and take it folded in half. And I'm going to cut a heart. I'm just going to go up and at an angle and just keep trimming around until I have a heart shape. I did not give a pattern for the heart. If you need a pattern for the heart, they're all over the internet. Then we're going to go ahead and take our fabric and we're going to um, turn it right side out. And I use pliers because it's the easiest thing for me to use. It works real, real fast. Put our seam in, in the middle of the back. And we're going to turn our edges in so they're clean. And we're going to glue it shut. And then we're going to glue it around. We're only going to glue around the two sides. We're going to leave the back open because after we put our shoes on, we can do some adjustment if we have a balance issue. We can pull our, our fabric down or up, and then we can glue that in at the very end. And we're going to do that to both sides. And another thing that you can do too, if you do have a balance issue with these shoes, you can take some of that foam, you know, and just cut a little circle of it and put it on the heel or the toe, wherever you have your balance issue, you can build it up and you're not going to see it. You just glue it in and you can get your, your gnome balanced. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. And we're not going to glue the back. We're going to go ahead and do our ears. We're going to go ahead and put our inserts into our ears. And we're going to do that for all four ears. We're going to take our um, sticks. These are broom sticks out of a broom. And I'm cutting them at an inch and a half each. And you're going to need three for each side of his whiskers. And then we're just going to glue it onto the heart. And we're going to fan them out so that they aren't touching each other. Just kind of open them up. Glue them down. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. So he'll have six whiskers attached to his nose. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and attach his ears and just, just push it down into that um, shoe. And then just kind of pull up a little bit on the um, fabric. And it should sit down in there, the fabric around it, because it's pretty fluffy. It'll hold that in really good. We're going to go ahead and attach his eyes. We're just going to put those right below his ears. On both sides and then we're going to attach his nose okay well now we're going to go ahead and cut the faux fur just put your pattern down we're going to trace around it and then we're going to cut it out we're going to cut the backing only not the faux fur itself and we're just going to go all the way around there and cut that out once you got it out you can go ahead and trim it out get all the excess off of it and put it aside we're going to go ahead and start building his legs. We're going to take the stick and stick it through two of the, of the corks. And that's going to be his legs. And then we're going to cover it with fabric. We're going to take the fabric pieces on the long end. We're going to, draw, we're going to put a bead of glue down. And we're folded over. That's going to be the back of our leg. So we have a nice seam. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. And we'll go ahead and lay our glue down so we can put our cork in here and we're just going to roll it up. And we're going to trim it out right there. And it's going to have a nice edge down there. And we're going to do the same thing for that one as well. All right, then we're going to come up into it and we're going to have about four slits because that's what's going to hold it to the styrofoam. And your holes are going to be about that far apart. I drilled mine with a drill, and then I cut my my stick at an angle so it would go in there easy. Just make sure that your seam for your leg is in the back. And then we're going to glue that down. And this will all be covered with the sock here in a minute, so just get it down there as best you can. Just want to hold those legs into the styrofoam. All right, now we're going to take a sock with the heel in the back. And we're going to put it over the top of our cone. And that's what's going to seal up the bottom of the body so you don't see where we just put all that fabric. We're going to add a little glue in the middle, pull it up to the center. And then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side too. 
so we can seal all that in. And then we're going to tie the top off and trim it off. We're going to put a rubber band around it, and then we're going to come back and put some string on it just in case that rubber band were to ever pop. And we're going to just tie that off. Okay, we're going to build our shirt. We're just going to go down the edge of it, fold it in half, and then we're going to hem it up about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Just add glue all the way around and hem that thing up. All right, we're going to turn it right side out. And we're going to go ahead and put it onto our gnome. We're going to pull it up over the top of that um, sock and just make sure that your seams are all in the back. Just a little bit below the sock. Just to look like he's wearing a little nightshirt. Then we're going to go ahead and tie the top up with a rubber band as well. And then we're going to tie that off with a string also. And then we're going to snip that off. Then we're going to go ahead and build the hat. Down the long edge, we're going to put facing sides together, and we're going to glue all the way down that side. And then we're going to turn that cuff up. Bring your seam to the back. We're going to turn that cuff up about two and a half inches, and we're going to glue that on down. And this is what's going to make the cuff for the front of our hat that we're going to put our ears into. We're going to tie our um, top of it together with a string. Just make sure your seam's in the back and just kind of bunch it up and just tie that off probably about an inch down. And trim that off. And we're going to turn it right side out. And then we can make our little cuff. And we're going to go ahead and add our pom-pom at the end of our hat. And then fold up our cuff. Probably about an inch. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut our bunny ears off. And you can save the legs for bunny ears later. So you can, you can use all of this bunny. Okay, we're going to put pipe cleaner in it so it will stand up straight and we can put a little bend at his, at his um, ear. We're going to open that up and we're going to glue it in. And we're going to trim off the excess and we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach our um, beard. And we're going to attach it to the hat instead of the body. So if we want to make adjustment to our shirt when we get done, we can. We can move it around a little bit. If you glue this to the beard, it might not be in the same place if you have to do some adjusting. Just leave enough in the opening in the front to go ahead and add the nose. We're going to go ahead and put it on our body. Seams in the back. And then we're going to glue the body, the hat to the body in the back. All right, we're going to go ahead and attach our nose. We're just going to center it in the middle, lift the hat up a little bit, stick it up underneath there, and then we're going to glue the hat onto the nose. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the rest of the hat to the beard. And we're going to put our bunny ears in here, pink side forward. And then we're going to glue them in in the front and the back so they stay in place. All right, while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and add the tail, put a little dollop of glue on the shirt, and add his tail and 
get it glued on there real well. Now we're going to go ahead and take his shoes and attach his shoes. And you need to make sure that that leg goes all the way down to the bottom of that shoe. And this is where we're going to do the adjustment. If he about, if he rocks a little bit, we're going to pull that down a little bit, and then we're going to glue it in. I didn't glue his shoes to his feet. Because if you need to move them around a little bit, you can. But they went in there pretty tight, so they're not going to come out. And just glue the top of that to the back of the shoe as well. So we can cover up those shoes. Okay, there you have it. A real cute little Easter bunny gnome. I hope you enjoyed this compilation and I hope it gave you some inspiration to make some gnomes for Easter. If you like the video, be sure and hit like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell to be notified so when I have a new video upload. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.